What's up everyone, I'm Naivo. Today I have the Koss budget headphones here. Um, they're all under $100 and they're all really good. I recommend each and every one of these. Um, but I'm, what I'm gonna do is test them on uh, the different uh, DAC amps to let you know which ones I think are good combinations and which ones to avoid. Um, so first off we have the KPH30i Clear, the KPH40, and the KSC75. Um, I think uh, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and start listening and then let you know what I think. Alright, so I just tested all three of these headphones on all these deck amps. And first I'll go over what the difference is on sounds. The sound uh, for each headphone is. For the KPH30i Clear, it's very resolving. Um, you, you could say it's the most shouty, I think, of the three. Uh, it's medium in bass. And the stage is, um, it's not really going out in front of you much, but it images pretty well. Uh, the KPH40, this is the most amp picky of the three headphones. So it's harder to recommend this on budget amplifiers. But what I'll say is, um, on a good app, it's it's quite good, um, but uh, the sound wise, I would say it has the most bass of the three. And on a weaker amp, it sounds a little bit muddy, and um, it's the least shouty of the three. Um, probably, the, I would say the safest tuning of the three. And the stage is kind of in between the two, I would say, where this was the least stage and this is the most stage. So KC75 has the most stage. It's um, pretty, it's on the bright side a little bit and uh, has the least bass of the three. But the stage is, in my opinion, very good. Um, and I'll talk about which deck amps um, for each of them. Uh, actually, they were all they, they sounded good on almost everything and better on some than others but I, I think the main winners here is the, the Meizu dongle did pretty well on each of them and so did the iFi Zendak this is the iFi Zendak but there's also an iFi Zen Air DAC which is the same thing as this as far as I know without the balanced and since all of these are unbalanced um, then you might as well just get the iFi Air, Air DAC if you're just getting um, you know these headphones uh, so I was only using unbalanced because none of these are modded um, everything sounded great on this one I was especially blown away with the KSC 75 staging on this um, I, I really liked it the the one I was the most surprised that wasn't as good was the ES 100 MK2 but I guess I'm I guess I shouldn't be too surprised because the unbalanced I'm not really a big fan of on the ES100 MK2. I always use this with the balanced side. Um, Quidlix 5K didn't have a, as bad of an issue. It, was, it sounded pretty good. Um, um, same thing with UM2 was pretty good. The Motu M4 was pretty good. Um, but this was definitely a step up, the iFi Zendak. And Apple Dongle was actually not that bad either. So. Um, Almost everything was pretty good. And for the Army ADI-2 DAC FS, that's where the KPH-40 gets a chance to sound good. They, it's more powerful and it just sounds cleaner and, you know, you get the bass and you get the mids and you get the treble. The stage is just not um, as big as I wanted. So one thing you can do with cost, cost headphones is you can interchange the, the headbands with the... Um, the drivers so I was curious because I wanted I wanted this with more bass was my, my goal so I tried it I you just pop it right off like that and you just put it onto the um, cost KC 75 clips just like let's see like that you can see that so um, it did you know I I did like it uh, except for a couple things. So it actually felt more comfortable to me. I don't know if it's a different pad or something. No, it's, yeah, it is a little bit different. Um, the bass was better, 
but the stage still wasn't as good as the stock KSC 75. Um, another thing is this wire is heavier. You can see this huge adapter here. Um, this is 2.5 to 3.5 on the other side. Um, but this, this cord, you can see it's quite a bit thicker than the KSC 75 cord. Um, and that does weigh down the clip, which I didn't really like. So of the three of these, my personal favorite, you know, it's different from person to person, but my favorite is the KSC 75 because my number one preference is stage. Um, but if your preference is bass, then you're going to like the KPH 40. And if you just want some, something that's super resolving, then I would go with the KPH 30i clear. Now, keep in mind that the clear is different than the other KPH 30i's. This is the one that sounds the best. There's a dampener that's removed from the outside part, and you can do that on the other ones too. You can just take it out, but this, I mean, I like the look of it too, so um, you don't have to mess with anything. It sounds good stock. Um, so I think that's all I have to say with it. Yeah, for gaming, the gaming setup that I would recommend is KSC 75 with the iFi Zen Air DAC. That's going to be a pretty awesome setup. Um, it'll probably blow your mind if you're <laughs> not used to decent headphones. And these these are better than a lot of um, under hundred dollar headphones for sure. So. I guess that's all I have to say. Hit like and subscribe if you like the content and if you want to see more. See you guys later.